do a quick video with a few thoughts ahead of Anthony Joshua versus Jason Gavern this Saturday night at Sky. Um, it's actually a fight that I kind of missed when it was initially announced, probably because I was moving house, didn't have internet. Um, so I'm coming to this slightly late in the day. First and foremost, I want to know what's happened to the Joshua Kevin Johnson fight. I understand those two were initially scheduled to fight at the O2 on April the 25th. Um, but, sorry, not initially. I mean, obviously, initially they were scheduled to fight in January, I believe. They were rescheduled to fight April the 25th um, after Joshua pulled out with injury. Can somebody in the know please comment on this video and let me know what the update is on that? Is the fight still going ahead? Are we still trying to reschedule? I mean, obviously, that bill was due to be headlined by the Gale Durrell. Hearn lost the purse bids for that. So does that mean Joshua Kevin Johnson has gone? If that is the case, I'm very, very disappointed. I really like that fight, and I thought Kevin Johnson was an excellent test and an excellent step up from Anthony Joshua, uh, for Anthony Joshua. So if somebody knows the answer to that, please confirm, please comment below. But I will be disappointed if that fight doesn't go ahead. Um, moving on to Joshua Gavern. You know, Gavern obviously is a short notice opponent. They wanted someone easy for Anthony Joshua to blow out, you know, so that he can fight again later on in the month, hopefully. Obviously, that may not now not be happening. But Gavern, you know, he represents a similar level to previous Anthony Joshua opponents. I remember Gavern and Michael Sprott going at it at, in Prize Fighter, for example, and Sprott got the decision there in a close, close matchup. So, you know, he's a similar sort of operator to guys Joshua's beaten before. I'd probably take the likes of, uh, you know, Dennis Baktov over um, Gavern. For me, it's not a fight that I can foresee any issues with Joshua winning whatsoever. Put simply, Gavern carries no power and he struggles to get on the inside. Uh, I've seen him fight tall fighters before, guys like Deontay Wilder, for example, I watched that fight. And he was just not able to get inside the Wilder jab. He was not able to land anything meaningful at all on Wilder. And he kind of, you know, tries to dip, go low, he swings wildly, throws a lot of hooks. Wildly inaccurate, even if he does land, he just, for me, doesn't carry much of a threat in terms of his punching power. Um, you know, his record, he's had 49 fights, 26 wins, 19 losses, 4 draws. Of his 26 wins, only 11 have come by KO, which is another indication of uh, a lack of power. And I just think he's really going to struggle to deal with the Anthony Joshua size, with the Anthony Joshua jab. I see Joshua stopping it early. With regard to Gavern's record, um, he gives some indication that he has the potential to be durable. Having said that, he has been stopped nine times. But I mean, recently, uh, as recently as a few weeks ago, he went the distance against Gerald Washington, um, you know, a relatively highly regarded undefeated contender. Um, I remember the Deontay Wilder fight last year. Gavern was dropped multiple times, but eventually quit on his stool after four rounds. Uh, at that point, he probably took Deontay Wilder further than any other Wilder opponents. So, yeah, I mean, fair play to Gavern. There are indications that he can be durable. Having said that, you know, we've also seen him, uh, I was just flicking down his box record. I remember Lucas Brown stopped him early. I'm just checking, Lucas Brown uh, stopped him in three. Amir Mansour stopped him in one. You know, clearly he can be knocked out. And I think with Joshua's aggression, with the pace Joshua fights at, and with that jab, Gavern's not going to have any game at all. And it's going to be a very, very easy night for Joshua. I do see it being a stoppage in one or two rounds. I think when Deontay Wilder fought Gavern, Wilder almost took his foot off the gas, fought at a slow pace because he was looking to get rounds under his belt. You know, he was looking to build up his experience ahead of a world title fight. We're not going to see that with Anthony Joshua at this stage. You know, he fights at a really fast pace. He puts on a lot of pressure quickly. He's very aggressive. And I just don't see Gaburn having any tools to deal with what Joshua's got to offer. I see this as an early, early knockout for Anthony Joshua. Um, and I understand why they've taken the fight. But 
let's hope there's something more serious on the radar for AJ soon. I'm disappointed if the Kevin Johnson fight's gone away. Let me know your thoughts. Many thanks for watching. Uh, do comment if you've got more information.